Alright, so this is going to be one of those serious vids that I do from time to time, so if you're looking for the comedy, uh, just go ahead and skip if you want, but I encourage you to stick around. I'm going to respond to a video by Number Nile, I keep wanting to call him Number Nine, but it's Number Nile, and he posted the video of Can You Prove God with Science? And there's different branches of science, and science is just a tool. There's something what we call, uh, I'm trying to remember the term, uh, uh, empirical data, which is uh, solid evidence, and then logical data, which is evidence that isn't solid, but it's deduced from a logical standpoint. A good example of this would be a black hole. We don't know that black holes exist, but using some logical deductions, we can assume they exist and we can create a theory that it, they exist. In other words, we can prove their existence through observations of other surrounding forces. So, using pure science, no, we can't prove it outright, but we can create a pretty solid theory. So, if we allow scientists to d dive into creationism or intelligent design, would they be able to prove anything? Well, they could promote a lot of interesting theories, I'm sure, and none of them would be attached to religion or faith in any way, shape, or form. They would just be theories that would show, using logical deduction, that a creator is suggested by the nature of the universe, by the nature of creation itself. In other words, there's nothing on earth that you can point to that wasn't created by something else. The planet itself was created by something else. The sun was created by something else. It's not that hard of a logical conclusion to look at the entire universe and say the universe was probably created by something else. What the current theory says, a bunch of gases and uh, energy were present so that it created a large explosion known as the Big Bang. Okay, great. Where did the gases come from? Because they had to be created by something. Then there was a theory promoted of multiple universes saying that, well, our universe is just one of many. And then the thing came right back, well, then what created all the other universes? So there is basically the fundamental understanding is that you must have something to, something has to be created by something else. You can't just have something exist as far as we've seen. A lot, and the current standing theory, as far as I know, is that the universe has always existed. Is that a good theory? Well, yeah, it, it is in the sense that if you say that the universe always exists, then you don't really need to explain how it came into existence. It just always was. Which is kind of funny, because when we talk about God, we say God's always existed. And he's always been there. So, is God the universe? Or vice versa? And can we prove that the universe exists? Well, we can prove a lot of stars are out there. Yeah. Um, how big is the universe? We can't answer that question. We, we assume that it's infinite. Because, as far as we know, it is. Uh, it might be infinite to a degree. It might go on for a certain amount of time. And then there might not be any more stars or planets. We don't know. We don't have those answers. How big was the Big Bang? We don't even have that answer. We have theories. So if the universe is allowed to exist and not have any explanation, why can't God exist and have no explanation? It's a pretty simple question, I think. I mean, basically it's just a matter of semantics, just one word replaced with another. If you're going to say that it, you're basically saying eternity, which is always been and always will be, uh, doesn't need to be explained. So what's wrong with just saying, well, here's a creative force that doesn't need to be explained? Um, and I guess then it gets back to a philosophical debate on, well, if there really is a creator, then blah, 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 blah. 
you know, and then you get into that whole deal. But using science, can we come to a reasonable conclusion uh, or a theory that would say, well, the universe exists, and if it's always existed, then it's reasonable to assume that there could be a, a higher power that's always existed. I mean, why not? There's nothing to dispute it. There's nothing that necessarily proves that it's true either, but it's a logical conclusion. If the universe has a start, then you say, well, everything that we've ever seen has to be created by something else. So the, if the universe was created by something, then God could be the force that created it. Why not? And it's a better explanation than just saying, well, it just popped into existence one day because, I don't know, a wizard did it, to quote uh, Confused Matthew. And, you know, is... And then I guess that would then bring up the philosophical question, well, is you're basically then comparing God to magic, saying that the universe was created, you know, bing, there it is. Well, yeah, any any technology or any power that's sophisticated enough would look like magic to somebody that doesn't understand it. If I went back in time with a computer to even the 1940s, say, people would be completely baffled by it and who knows I might be lynch mobbed for uh, witchery or something I, I'm maybe not in the 1940s they would uh, let's just say a color TV instead of a computer they wouldn't understand a computer but a color TV they would be flabbergasted by it uh, astounded because of the size because sound because of color it would just be um, it would be unconceivable inconceivable to them um, if I went back further, the further I go back, the more it's going to seem like magic, or the more it's going to seem like it's impossible what I've, you know, the technology that I have. Or even bringing a calculator back in time and showing mathematicians I can do math super fast would seem like magic almost. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's other examples I could come up with, but, uh, you know, those are those are the ones I decided on. So anything that's sophisticated or higher than us, we're not going to necessarily understand or grasp on our level. Um, you know, it's like the three-dimensional plane. We're on a three-dimensional plane. If something from the fourth dimension intersects it, we're not even going to recognize it or understand it. Same thing as if I'm pushing my finger through a piece of paper and an ant is walking on that paper. To the ant, my finger is come out of nowhere and it doesn't know what it is. It has no perceivable way of understanding what just happened to its universe. Okay. And so, you know, anything that's bigger than us, obviously we're not going to necessarily fully understand. Um, I don't, I, I guess I don't, I guess the whole thing would then go to another philosophical debate that you could have that if you were able to prove God, then you would no longer need faith, therefore faith would be destroyed, therefore God will not allow you to prove that he exists because faith is so important. Well, faith is very important. Why is faith important? Who knows? That's a question that only God could answer. Um, I happen, I have my own personal theories and beliefs on that, which I don't think is relevant to the discussion. But suffice it to say, uh, maybe we could prove, or try to, or get close. But there's a warning in the Bible about it, and it's the Tower of Babel. They tried to build a tower big enough to reach God, and it was destroyed. So if we try to build something that will reach God, will it be destroyed? I don't know. I think it would be okay to allow scientists to dive into intelligent design because the theories would be interesting and because I think that if they were to set out to make an invention to try to prove it, that they might stumble upon other discoveries. Let's say that they made a radio device that was very, very powerful in an attempt to communicate with a higher power. And instead, they failed that, but they made a really, really powerful radio that can broadcast to the next solar system. You know, so why not? It might actually 
turn out with some good inventions, or it might not be allowed and be destroyed.